I'm going to show you how to use Emacs on a Mac. So the first thing we need to do is download Emacs. And for this, I just go to google.com, type in Emacs Mac, go to the website, and then you download a file and then you install it in your applications. Then once you have it installed, you can just open it from your applications menu. And there it is. So let's make a file. So I click here, and then it's going to ask me, like, how do I want to call the file? So let's just call it with whatever name. Now, the thing is that when you make a file with Emacs, you have to specify what type of file you're going to make. And in this case, I'm just going to make a simple text file. But let's say you want to make a .html file, then you just do .html or .css, etc. There it is. And then you can just like type whatever you want and then save it and use it later. Now, the good thing that I like about Emacs more than Pico Nano or VI is that it has a menu. Like it has it actually has a graphical interface. So here you can see like if you don't know the commands, you can save it from a menu or you can copy and also like it can search for um characters or words or you can even replace them. And it has several other stuff too. And then, well, let's just save this. And then the basic way to save it is I'm going to save it Control XS and XC. And there it is. Now let's use Emacs from terminal. So I open up a terminal. And I'm going to try to open that same file. So I just type in Emacs, some file.txt. There it is and it opened up in a terminal now notice that i cannot click file or edit so you do actually need to know the commands if you're going to use it here just like if you were to use pico or nano so okay now let's show how to use emacs from let's say ispace so i'm going to ssh to ispace now if you want emacs to show up in your computer just like it did when i opened it the first time like the whole menu you have to either type negative y or negative x either one i personally like negative y but they both do well they have some differences but for what we want they do the same thing and then go to ispace now like um some of you might have seen that you usually type in your username at ispace.ci.fsu.edu I usually just type negative L after after the ispace.ci.fsu.edu but it's just a matter of preference like it's not a difference or anything at all so here we are at ispace now I'm gonna open up one of my website pages so I can show you how to use Emacs from it now like the the way to do it is just like from I did it for my Mac you can just like type in that and it's going to open up a file but it's actually go to one of my websites and then let's open up my index.html file so now besides opening up, open up index.html file I want to let's say I want to do some other stuff in the terminal then I need to open this as a background program so I just type in ampersand afterwards and there it is and I can just do other stuff go back now while well, this is this is gonna take a little while to open so I'm just gonna open my CSS website and there it is now since I'm accessing a file on iSpace I should be able to edit and save it and it should like automatically be updated so I'm gonna show you how like that this actually really works now what I'm gonna change is I'm just gonna change this from CGS 2835 Luis Barrera to um, Luis Barrera's website just something simple now the faster your internet or the closer you are to or let's say if you're doing this from actually from FSU and your NFSU's network, this is going to be really faster than how it is right now. Okay. 
So let's see. Let's change this. And then I save it. And I just saved it. I'm not even going to close it. I'm going to keep it open. I'm going to go to my website. Refresh. And there it is. Changed. And I can change my website on the go. I just need to have this open. Change it. Save it. Now we're good. Now Emacs is one of many text editors, but it's a really powerful text editor. So feel free to use whichever you want. I personally like Emacs. And well, whatever you need to know about Emacs, it's all on the website. Um, like there's plenty of references, or if you're even have, like you can just like type in man Emacs on a terminal, and it'll show you like um, what you can do with it. Or if you want to like do some open up some special files in a certain way. It's all in there in the manual. So, I guess this is it for Emacs. Thank you.